Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Kevin. Aaron. And we're here to react to a trailer from Netflix's Button. <laughs> you say button? I don't know. Ta da! No! Uh, this, no! This is a, uh, a trailer for something called Arcane, mm -hmm. which I know nothing about at all. Is this live action? I is this mean, anime? I know nothing. Is this animation? Nothing. Is there fire? Do it, Thanks, that was bad. Alright, what we when got? When I was a kid, me and my sister, we played a game where we pretended to chase monsters away. Oh, it is animation. Crazy League of Legends. League of Legends. Ah. It looked live action at first. The monster's gonna get you and I'm here. This is that really cool. The monster showed up. I have to find her. It's beautiful. It is. The world's growing smaller every day. Up there on the surface. Oh, the top siders are leaving the undercity further behind. I believe I've discovered something incredible. A way to harness magic through science. You don't understand ah. what's at stake. Power doesn't come to those who are born strongest. It comes to those who will do anything to achieve it. Imagining yourself a hero. Then what are you waiting for? Jesus! More lives may be lost. The Undercity cannot be controlled. Then we have to go in by force. What have you done with my sister? Holy shit! <laughs> The cycle of violence will never stop. She's too far gone. I have to try. You've got a good heart. Don't ever lose it. Protect the family. Are we still sisters? Nothing is ever going to change that. She's got like doom fists. Yeah. Revenge. Huh. November sixth. Is that his name? Is that right? So this is specifically a League of Legends thing. <clears throat> I mean, the main characters. It looks like a character named Jinx and another one named. Um, Damn, I feel like it's over the V. It's been a long time since I played League of Legends. I used to be into it a lot, but there's several characters where I feel like I recognize them. Okay. But I can't place a lot of their names, but there's definitely like a story and lore based on a lot of them. And there's actually some characters in the game too where when you have these two characters on a team or these two characters against each other, gotcha. there's different like perks and bonuses. Like there's one guy who's kind of like the predator and one guy who's kind of like the alien. And if you have them on opposite teams, they have perks on if you kill the other one. As like an AVP kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, but these two, like they've been, I'm I'm pretty sure in all the lore that they had in that they were sisters, and there's like one who's like kind of an outlaw, and the one's more of like a like a hunter cop kind of thing and stuff like that. So yeah, <laughs> seems interesting. Okay, yeah, I've never played League of Legends. I just <clears throat> was most intrigued by its art style. Yeah, honestly, some of their cinematics and stuff have been really good um, that they've had. Kind of like how Blizzard would always have like here's like this yeah. really awesome cinematic with Overwatch or World of Warcraft or any of that kind of stuff too like Riot usually did that kind of stuff too and I've heard that they were coming out with like TV shows and more okay. games and different things too yeah. but it, no it has very much was, like a yeah. like an oil pastel look to its art style which is really cool yeah, yeah. no I'm, I'm curious on there's a few of them like one guy I thought maybe could have been Jace one could have been maybe uh, Heim, Heimdinger Heimerdinger that's a, that's a good name I think Heimdinger it's not Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger. I think it's Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger. I think. I hope it is. They, they were uh, Yordles, I think. That, that was like the little furry, like short guy. Yeah. Oh, like they're yeah. called Yordles, I believe. Okay. And like, you don't understand it's just like what a, you're doing. There's a race of people that are like, they're like kind of tiny and there's yeah. a few of them. His, if, it, if it was Heimer, he had uh, like little turrets that he would build and like 
you would have to get past those turrets first. So he was more so like just I'll build these. Now you like got area with control. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. Is he one of the ones? Because we did a game night of mechs versus minions. I think he might have been in it. Like I think Tristano was in that one, and she was a Yordle. Actually, I think all those were Yordles. There was Corky, and I think it was Heimer, and I think there was uh, Tristana. So, yeah, I think all those were Yordles in that one. But what think was the right. little guy that plants the mushrooms? Timo. Yeah. Yeah. Farmer Maggot. But Sorry if I'm missing up any of these names or anything. It's been a while since I played League of Legends. Probably the last time I played was <coughs> whenever we played League of Legends, which on stream over at Twitch. You know, we've done that a time or two. Did we do that? We did. Yeah, I don't even remember. That was back when we were upstairs. a long time ago. I do have League of Legends on my computer. You I do? I'm like, when did I play this? <laughs> a long time ago, because it was free, and we could yes. also play with viewers and stuff, yeah. so we, we played did that a little bit on gotcha. Pokemon okay. Unite a little more that. recently. Yeah, yeah, we did Pokemon Unite more <laughs> recently and stuff. But no, I mean, yeah, I agree. Art looks interesting. Um, Amazing. I was trying to tell if I could recognize any of the voices or anything. The uh, one guy that was like, I think I figured out how to harness magic with science, like, I recognize that voice but I can't place it. It's like one of those really generic, like, actor voices. Not voice actor, but, like, screen actor. That's the guy I thought might have been a character called Jace from League yeah. of Legends. Because he has, like, a he has like a hammer, but the hammer can also turn into, like, a, a staff that shoots stuff. He's really kind of cool. So he can be melee or range. He's saying one. it's also a gun? Yeah, it kind of was, yeah. But yeah. that was, like, what he that was like what he did. And his thing was kind of, like, science-y, but also had, like, some magical things. So it's like, well, which one's a witch? And... He might be working on that kind of stuff. It makes sense because he reminds me of Ironwood from Ruby. Ironwood? Yeah. <laughs> I did get some Ruby vibes of like, you know, the rich people live up top and yeah. the poor people live down below. Yeah. And there's this like class warfare going on. Yeah. Do you think people that make trailers just have like a specific trailer music like set where it's just like, all right, give me a boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> There's definitely a, a thing with like, well, how do you do a trailer? It's like, well, you need these sounds yeah. or these sounds or these sounds. You either go with the doom, 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 and it cuts and goes yeah. to something else, you know? Because like, they'll have like her say something, and they're like, doom, doom, doom. And then that's when this happens. Doom, doom, doom. You know, and it does that kind of thing. Or it's like, just kind of keeps building 60 up. 60 voices and rising. There's like, there's, like no, there's like no voiceover going on. Just things are happening. Sure. sure. It's always fascinating just like watching the trends of trailers. Like one trailer succeeds and they all start doing like that, that thing. thing. Like, yeah. you know, the first Suicide Squad movie trailer started doing like cocking guns to the beat and now everybody starts doing that. Sure. Yeah. Or Inception started doing the wah and now everybody does some form of that. <laughs> Or, like, light piano music of popular 90s song. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's just... Like, like minor key yeah. covers and stuff. Yeah. Now, it'll be interesting to see what they do with this. Yeah, the Jinx, The Jinx character, she's kind of a little jokery. Jinx, Jinx. So it'll be interesting to see what she does. Yeah. Like, she had a line, like, what if I had a gun that shot other guns? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but she was a neat character where she was a, a range, and she had, like, a... She had, like, a minigun. Yeah. But then she also could pull out, like, a rocket launcher. So you could choose like what kind of weapon you wanted to use. Gotcha. So I don't know. Here she had a pistol and stuff like that too. So I just wonder like, what is she running from, or is she kind of like causing mayhem and stuff sure. like the Joker, or is she trying to stop yeah. her, or what's going on with it? You yeah, know? you know it was interesting with this trailer. Like I know nothing about League. I had no idea this was a League thing until it literally said League of Legends. Yeah, Even in really the beginning when it said like from the creators, I was like, oh okay, they have a new thing. But no, it's it, it is a League of Legends like show, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Seems but like, yeah. it felt like whenever like, you know going through a little bit of lore or some of the characters or stuff, it felt like am I supposed to know this? Sure. You know, sometimes with like a new IP, you're being introduced to something as to as opposed to like seeing something that you kind of know. So this felt like a trailer, maybe not necessarily for someone that's coming to it new, but sure. someone. It felt like it was crafted to excite people that already know. And sure. League of Legends is yeah. so big that it, that makes sense that they would do that. Yeah, well, that's there, how it felt to me halfway through. There were definitely different moments when, like, I was like, "Ooh, was that this?" Because like, there was a time when a gun was like, ch -ch -ch, yeah. and it made me think of a character named Graves who Graves. Like, kind of has a gun and shoots and okay. stuff. He's like kind of vampire huntery is how he mm -hmm. kind of comes across. And there's a few characters I'm like, "Ooh, is that supposed to be this or is that this one?" Yeah. But also, like, I was I'm curious on like when just watching it, you're like, "Okay, well, what's this kind of about?" And does it pull in people who have no idea what it what it is? Yeah. So there's definitely things I feel like in there where it's like, oh, if you know League of Legends, oh, that's this, or gotcha. that's that. But for me, like, I, I felt like I, I could, could, in the middle. I could, like, <laughs> sense that that was happening, but I didn't know what the IP was. Sure, yeah. yeah. No. Like, there was a few times, like, it showed a face, I'm like, dang it, I don't yeah. feel like I know that one. There was another time, like, it shows someone, I'm like, oh, I think I know that person, but I can't remember who it is. Sure. <laughs> so, 
but it looked cool. I like the. I agree. I like the art style. It does feel kind of reminiscent to uh, League of Legends. Like they would have just CG videos, but they would also have like this kind of splash art background on some things and stuff. And it kind of felt like some of their like artwork that they would have just yeah. kind of turn into an animation. Sure. So, yeah. I did like some of the action. Mm-hmm. Like, in particular, the one shot of like doing the clothesline and then the camera turns and the person's falling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, What's definitely. That? Yeah. And there's definitely different kinds of like weapons and stuff too. So there's lots of things they could do. So many people with different abilities. I like the airboards. Myself. The airboards? Yeah. The Green Goblin. Ah, ah, Spider-Man! <laughs> I hope they do that. <laughs> so, uh, no. Uh, Willem Dafoe. Yeah, maybe. November. Yeah, looks looks kind of cool. I might have to try to look into it more and refresh on a few things or something. But I don't, yeah. know, I don't know if I go back to League. I spent a lot of time on League. I don't have the time for it anymore. I feel like you do Dota too. <laughs> the only thing I hear about League is a lot of people being like, I can't do it anymore. I, just, I spent a lot of time doing it. A lot of money on skins and stuff too. Yeah. It's a lot of fun when you have like a group that always plays it. Yeah. But when you're just solo playing and stuff like that too, I feel like it's not as much fun. Yeah. Mm. It's true. But I also that's how I play a lot of my games. Where like when it's solo play, I'm like, yeah, it's not. But when I play with people, ah, it's just fun. Gotcha. So. I don't know. I'm not thing to say. You got anything else? Guys, thank you very much. We are out of things to say, but not today, because we have a lot more trailers coming up. So make sure you subscribe so you can see all the trailers that we're going to be covering from Netflix's... ta Yeah. And check out in the description for twitch.tv slash blindway. Follow us over there for all of our gameplay live streams that we do. We have some like, almost every day. <laughs>